Yirashaimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this week we have Magical Night Dreams, Cotton 2, the best tea time in Shoot 'em Ups. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From developer success, Cotton 2 released to arcades in 1997. It would see release on the Sega Saturn in the same year. Now fast forward to 2021, and we have the Sega Saturn version available for the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch, courtesy of City Connection as part of the Cotton Saturn Tribute. So the other two titles in the uh, Cotton Saturn Tribute are Cotton Boomerang and Guardian Force. So this is a title that I can definitely recommend for fans of horizontal scrolling shoot 'em ups in particular, but just horizontal scrolling shoot 'em ups. It is really feature dense. Um, there are a lot of uh, systems and mechanics going on, which can sometimes make the game chaotic. But there's just a lot of fun and enjoyment to be had in even mastering those systems. That's one of the main reasons I would recommend this. Um, picking up the title as part of the Saturn Tribute Collection, either physically in all three or um, piecemeal if you're like uh, picking up digitally, uh, is a huge uh, cost savings over what it would cost to pick up this title in its original form for the Sega Saturn, as that version uh, will often go for 200 plus. So, definitely, uh, this is one that if you're looking to go and like save some money, that, then that's one I can recommend picking up. The game itself um, is quite a joy to play though, although it might not be for everybody. So, um, let's have a look at the gameplay itself and you can kind of decide if it's one for you. So, starting the game, we're taken to this main menu here, and the game itself does a really good job of emulating the Sega Saturn. Things feel perfect, and well, as far as the um, Saturn port of Cotton 2 was basically arcade perfect as is, so there are some really nice options here that are specific to this particular port. Some um, ones that include extra buttons for the Saturn, and some nice abilities to control your uh, difficulty settings as well as your life bar. Um, in addition to that, that we do have the general UI here which does provide some options for the screen uh, you can do some silly things like change from the max size screen here to the original um, a much smaller resolution not recommended uh, you can change the wallpapers there's some different anti-aliasing modes some game settings and a rather nice playing guide which I'll touch on here in just a little bit uh, one part that is a little bit confusing though the confirmation buttons are backwards in that mo uh, menu than they are in the main menu here Starting the game, we have a story segment that's rather reminiscent of other Cotton titles. Um, basically, um, Cotton's out to, up to her usual uh, trying to get willows and like saving kingdoms in the process. So we'll skip past that to get to um, the gameplay itself, where we start as the titular witch, Cotton, who's accompanied by her usual pal, um, Silk. Uh, in addition to that, it's also possible to play this game two-player, and the second player uh, plays um, basically Cotton's rival, frenemy, however you want to refer to them, uh, Apley and her com uh, companion, um, the animated uh, witch's cap, uh, Needle. So let's dive into the systems of the game itself. So we have our standard uh, enemy, or our standard shot, um, but this time around, it's got a little bit of a different um, twist to it. So, throughout the course of Cotton, you're always collecting these uh, various gems. And those gems can be one of five colors. The yellow gems are your default ones that will give you experience. The higher ex your experience, uh, the more like uh, your shot level increases. And that level is underneath our health bar right here and that just means a more powerful shot. You also do gain experience for uh, defeating enemies. Um, but in addition to that, each of those crystals uh, has a certain, uh, past the yellow one, has a certain um, element to it. So yellow's wind, or not yellow, green is wind, uh, blue is ice, uh, red is fire, and there's also a pearlescent one that's like uh, light magic. And that influences what kind of shot you're using. 
Uh, in addition to that, you can also exhaust that particular, like, magic crystal to, um, use a special, like, magic attack that's basically your sc uh, screen clearing bomb. However, if you use all of your bombs and you can only store three of them, then you'll be back to your default shot, which you really don't see much of. Uh, so the magic uh, attacks will make, like, really, really short work of this boss. Bam totally like uh, taken out and then we have the characteristic tea time of um, cotton so but with all the shots like uh, used up when we start the second stage at least uh, with my character cotton we'll see um, the base uh, shot for just a little bit um, so uh, pro tip it is possible to move faster than your default speed if you hold down the shot button the downside is you won't be firing so in addition to your shot and your magic mechanic, there's an additional like level of um, complexity to our attacks. So between stages, we do have these like uh, little cutscenes. Um, one downside is they didn't translate them. I understand that would have been a bit more difficult because you would have had to go into the original game and change the language, the assets there. But it still would have been nice to um, see that done. Anyway. Moving on to the next stage, um, once again, you'll see the default attack for just a little bit. And then once you have a magic, I can kind of go into um, the whole command shot. So real quick, I'm going to pause the game and go into the options and show you the playing guide. Um, so here, the playing guide has your button configuration, a little bit about like uh, some of the ranking modes. And then we have this command shot screen. What does this look like? This looks like a fighting game moves guide. And that's really what it is. So one of the things that Cotton 2 added was the set of um, fighting moves, uh, like fighting move like attacks uh, that you can use on the enemies. The interesting thing is that it actually has um, uh, the unique uh, aspect of turning enemies, well not necessarily turning them, but sealing enemies in these orbs. And those like orbs are crucial to your um, power, uh, rather, um, score attacks. So you can use those to chain into other enemies and uh, in addition to chaining into other enemies, uh, if you shoot those orbs enough, you can also get like uh, life out of them. Um, and uh, really, it's like just the way that uh, like basically power through this game itself. The problem is they're a little bit difficult to pull off consistently. I feel um, even if you know the moves and you get uh, good at using them, there's still uh, a trick of making it work in a timing uh, that you want it to as this is still a shoot 'em up and you have to dodge around the enemies and the stages and uh, it's just not <laughs> the easiest thing. So as you can see we can pick up those um, orbs as well and that's because we have the ability to pick up well almost everything in the game including if you're playing in two player you can pick up your uh, other player as well. Um, so not necessarily the nicest thing to do, but it's something you can do. Um, so you can see here that the shot counter keeps on going up. We get additional points. We can get life out of like uh, those enemy orbs. It's just kind of a neat feature. It's just uh, tricky to master, I guess, is like uh, the way that I um, view the whole thing. So here we find ourselves at the next... Um, boss itself. So I'm going to talk really quick about another element that they added to the emulation. So we have a slow mode that, uh, at least for the Nintendo Switch, you can activate by clicking the right um, trigger stick. Um, it helps with um, being able to dodge bullets and shoot them up, definitely. And you see, like, with it's turned on in the bottom right. So, boss down, and we find ourselves at another tea time. Um, interestingly enough, like the crystals, the T this time around does actually have, like, kind of physics to it. So when you have a ground, not so much on the stage where they're just falling straight down, it's actually possible for them to bounce once off the ground, and then they can bounce into each other. It's, a uh, really neat and, um, 
teacups don't behave that way. Uh, so, that's basically cotton two served up for your enjoyment. So as far as the minus flavors are concerned, one thing I do feel that is a little bit uh, problematic for Cotton 2 is how chaotic it can get, especially with two players, because it is possible to uh, like throw around uh, the second player. And not only that, you can't occupy the same space, so you're actually pushing each other around as well. The additional firepower is nice, um, but it does come at those drawbacks. Um, then the command moves, those like fighting game moves, are tricky to pull off and it's a situation where this is a shoot 'em up Are you really going to be able to focus enough on your gameplay to make those like work consistently? Uh, in certain situations, uh, definitely, but it just feels a little um, clunky and maybe not the most advised of choice. Still, I do appreciate um, the uniqueness that it adds to this particular um, title. On the plus side though, so one thing I always felt, the Saturn was truly an awesome title at um, uh, rendering 2D games, and shoot 'em ups in particular just look amazing on the platform. In addition to that, this title really does capture that whole um, cotton cute em up like uh, vibe. So you've got that uh, cute em up look to it with like uh, the cute witch going around shooting the enemies, but at the same time, this one is a really like a serious like shoot em up that has a lot of depth to its mechanics. Really, like uh, quite a bit more depth than previous titles. Is it from a scoring standpoint? The previous um, sa uh, cottons had actually been relatively straightforward, um, and then. Uh, for this title, based off of the fact that the um, the original the, is so expensive, being able to go and pick it up as part of a collection or piecemeal for such a wonderful price really helps elevate this one just like that much more. Alright, that'll just about wrap it up for this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. Cotton 2 is truly a uh, recommend, and as always, it's also excellent tea time. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I definitely hope you have an awesome week yourself, and we'll see you next week.